Kiss the Cow by Phyllis Root, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand, narrated by me. Mama May lived where the earth met the sky, and her house was as wide as the prairie. It needed to be. Mama May had so many children she couldn't count them all. Among Mama May's children was one called Annalisa. She wasn't the youngest, and she wasn't the oldest, but she was the most curious and the most stubborn. Every day, Annalisa followed Mama May as she carried her two shiny pails to the pasture, where she kept Luella, her magic cow with the beautiful brown eyes and bright curving horns. Every day, Annalisa heard Mama May sing to Luella, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Every day, Annalisa saw Luella's warm, sweet milk flow into the shiny pails until Mama May sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat. Cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. And every day, Annalisa saw Mama May kiss Luella right on the end of her velvety brown nose. Ugh, said Annalisa. Imagine kissing a cow. Every day, Mama May carried her pails of milk home to feed her hungry children. One pail of milk they drank for breakfast. The other pail of milk Mama May heated and salted and pressed into cheese for the children's supper. Cheese so fresh it squeaked between their teeth. Every day Annalisa wondered, What would it be like to milk a magic cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. Finally, one day she said, I want to milk Luella. Never you mind about milking Luella, said Mama May. If you upset her, she'll never give milk, and then what would we do? But Annalisa had made up her mind. She took a pail from the sandbox and sneaked off alone to the pasture. Just like Mama May, Annalisa sang, Lovely Luella, your milk never fails. My children are hungry, so please fill my pails. Luella's milk flowed into Annalisa's little pail until she sang, Thank you, Luella, my children shall eat. Cheese fresh and yellow, milk warm and sweet. Now this wasn't exactly true, of course, but magic words are magic words. And true or not, they worked. But did Annalisa kiss Luella right on the end of her soft, silky nose? She did not. And the next day Luella would not give any milk at all, no matter how many times Mama May sang her magic song. It didn't take Mama May long to figure out what had happened. Annalisa, she cried, have you been bothering Luella? All I did was milk her with my little pail said Annalisa. And did you remember to kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Me? Kiss a slobbery, bristly cow? cried Annalisa. You must kiss the cow to make sure she gives milk again, said Mama May. Never! cried Annalisa. And she wouldn't. That day the children ate scraps of bread without milk for breakfast. Now will you kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk. That night the children ate crusts of bread without cheese for supper. Now will you kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Never, said Annalisa. No kiss, no milk, no cheese. The next day, Mama May's house was full of hungry, crying children. 
The hungry children crowded around Annalisa. There were so many children they crowded her right out of the house and up the hill to the pasture. Milk! They begged. Cheese! They pleaded. Now will you kiss the cow? asked Mama May. Never! cried Annalisa. Never, never, never! Moo! said Luella, putting her nose in Annalisa's face. Ugh! said Annalisa. But then she looked into Luella's beautiful brown eyes and wondered. What would it be like to kiss a cow? The more she wondered, the more curious she grew. And the more curious she grew, the more Annalisa just had to know. There was only one way to find out. Please kiss the cow, said Mama May. Hmm, said Annalisa. But she scrunched up her eyes, bunched up her face, and kissed Luella. Luella smelled of fresh hay and sunshine and clover. Her nose felt silky and warm and dry. Mama May sang her magic song. Luella's milk began to flow. The children cheered, and Annalisa felt so fine. She kissed the cow again. The End <laughs>